Hello everyone. Hello there. Last week, at one stage during our talk, we spoke about that little story of Anthony de Mello of the disciple coming to the master and uh, asking, will my practice, will that lead to enlightenment? And the master saying, as little as it will make the sun rise. So why am I doing it? so that you are present when the sun rises. Um, to be present in your life, to be present um, in the unfolding of, of God's activity in, in our lives. Um, that came to the fore and to a degree it touched on synchronicity. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because it, it made us think, and I think also from experiences this specific week, um, to talk a little bit about uh, synchronicity, mm. or um, as they also call it, serendipity. Serendipity. Uh, uh, the psychologist, depth psychologist Carl uh, Jung, he coined the phrase almost officially of synchronicity, of how apparent um, disconnected, disconnected uh, events. events, happenings come together and have an impact on your life. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he coined that phrase, uh, but I think even before he did that, there was this story of the three princes of Serendip. And you had that phrase of serendipity, of unexpected, astounding things happening and things that surprise you. Mm. And you say, goodness, look, look what is happening here. Um, and also from experience, from previous experiences, um, what an important role synchronicity played in our lives. Mm. And I think um, it is it is it comes from that place of um, living, trying to live from uh, with a stance of the least resistance to what is happening in your life and an openness. Those principles that we keep on talking about um, awareness, being in the moment, um, and and also just um, it's very much to do with noticing and. And being in conversation um, with what is happening in your life. Mm. And it's often things that happens that you just, there's like, a, 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 it, it has a specific feel to it that you actually know that this is not something that you could have thought out mm. or manufactured or imagined. It is just so delicately brought together. It, it, it mm. and it's, it, Again, it also plays in on your dialect, on the things that speaks to you. Mm. It is so personal. Mm. Uh, you might be telling somebody about a synchronicity that you've experienced, and they look at you and they'll say, okay, um, you know, I can see it means a lot to you. It's not as mm. astounding to me. Or you might be telling something, and somebody will look at you and, and say to your face that you shouldn't be lying like that. Because, because that because happened to you. Eh? It happened to me. That I was telling this incredible synchronicity. It, it, it's right, yeah, and that somebody says, No, you know, really, you shouldn't be lying like mm. that. It's so incredible. Yes. So there's those elements of, of truly um, being astounded by, 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 and it can be a little thing. Mm. I think there's always a danger of looking for synchronicity everywhere yes or finding signs or um putting symbolism to absolutely everything yes um and i think that's not what it is i don't think it is something that you go out looking for mm. it's something that you are open to and it, yes so so you're there when the sun rises exactly you're there when the, when it happens and you experience it uh, um in a sense of awe. Yes, yes. So you can't venture into your day and say, today 
I am going to find synchronicities. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. It's, it's not something that we do, but is more something done unto us. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and that actually tells you or shows you, it's more showing than telling. It's, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. That there is a bigger picture. Yeah. And that there is, um, that we are not alone. Yes. Uh, that, that, and it's, I think the, the amazing thing is how, the timing, the everything is just always dead on with it. Mm. it. It's 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 just remarkable. You just know that this this should be um, seen for what it is. Yes, yes. Uh, I often have the experience because you can live on a synchronicity for the rest of your life. Yes, it's a, it's almost like an epiphany. It is. It's a, it's a being touched. It's that, that um, what's that painting? Uh, the creation painting of yeah. Michelangelo. Yes. Where God just touches the finger of, of Adam. Adam. And, and it's, it's almost like that. It's like a connection, just a momentary connection that is so remarkable that you remember it for always. Yeah. Because it is that sense, because it might be that you busy struggling with something, uh, trying to get clarity around an issue or being concerned about something. And there are times when you are really despondent mm -hmm. around this issue and you are in a conversation with God around this issue or not even consciously, mm -hmm. but it is really, it's, it's something that is very in the forefront of your mind and uh, it's a big issue for you and then synchronicity happens and from experience it is a sense of uh, this past week a phrase that came to me uh, a, a, a number of times is God finds you mm. God finds you. Um, and also, God listens. Mm. So it is this sense of a bigger picture and a bigger hope than my small picture and my small hope. Mm. It, is, it is this gracious movement, mm. uh, which is beautiful, uh, that we can't conjure up. Mm -mm. You don't go about fabricating synchronicities. No, no. You experience them. Yeah. Um, because uh, we, and it's often, as we say, it's in a it's in a difficult situation or in a in a phase of your life, and we've experienced something of that because we we had the uh, the the example of this little story of Anthony de Mello yes, last yes. week yeah. and the, the, the stance of least resistance and we touched on all that and then a few practical things played out where synchronicity really came into play. Mm, yeah, so we the, the previous recording, we usually take it early in the week, like today is actually Tuesday and we will only be posting it on Saturday. So we did, early last week we did our our conversation and then on Friday we went to Tafelkop where we were willing to to finalize the outbuildings that we will be using for uh, pottery and for uh, George's workshop and um, we were we, we went away there very grateful for the, the, the uh, buildings that we are going to use because they are the most beautiful, beautiful. Old sandstone buildings but in, in a much a worse state than we hope they would be in the sense that we will not be able to, like George always says, hit the road running on that side. There will be a lot of development needed, um, money spent to get, get it ready so that we can actually start with our production part of the work that we do. So we were a little uh, bit despondent. Yeah. And then also in terms of the living conditions, mm. 
uh, we were planning on moving into the big house, uh, which will not be ready by the time we move. Um, and then use the cottage uh, a little distance from the house, which is in a much better state. In the meantime, while we're working on the bigger house, to use the cottage for retreat. Yeah, that was the idea, to, to live in the big house, as soon as possible start using the cottage as a retreat space so that we can also start earning our income again. So mm. that the period from the, the packing up, the moving, the resetting, so that that's not such a long period in terms of income. Yeah, but now so, we can't move into the big house and we are going to stay in the cottage. In the cottage and, yeah. the, and the, um, the outbuildings are not ready to start work in. So, so we were sitting Friday evening really quite sorry for ourselves and thinking uh, what to do, what to do. And George said, well, we'll have to think creatively about this. We, we, we already have a couple of sources that we have been um, working with, the online retreats, the offline retreats. We love those. They go well. People that really enjoy them and participate well. Uh, but the big thing is people, we have a list of people wanting to come on, on physical retreat. Because we know there, there's a need for the work yes. to be done. Yes. So we want to do the work as soon as, yes. as possible. And, and so, um, and we were talking about it and saying we might, there's lovely places in and around Bokostrum. We might go and talk to people and see if we can use other facilities um, other spaces to do workshops, to do retreats. So we will have to work around that. We will just, um, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's the options that we have. So we felt better, I think, um, with mm. having some options. And um, so we went to bed. Saturday morning, George posted the, the next conversation. And later in the morning, but we didn't mention anything of no. this because it was already pre-recorded. Um, we had a call from friends who own a beautiful guest farm just outside of Akerström and we, um, she actually said that they have it on their heart to, to, to offer the, the guest farm to us uh, as a retreat space in the meantime. While we are, they, they realise that um, things will not be picking up maybe so quickly for us, although they had no knowledge of our conversation. But I think it felt like they were listening in. <laughs> uh, but but I think being in the hospitality industry, yes, they understand, they that, understand that it it takes time to yes. establish something. And yes. what about the meantime? Yes. So it was so um, uh, the fact that they were actually thinking of us in that in that regard and then offering it to us and it's quiet at the guest farm in winter in winter so um and and it just absolutely had me in immediate tears because it was so um incredible is the word mm. i was in awe because it was literally like they heard our conversation mm. Um, oh, somebody! Somebody was listening, mm. and, and within hours, actually, yeah. Um, this um, we had this call, and in the meantime, they've also let us know that if we should need a place to live in the meantime, uh, they are much closer to Dovercorp than we are here. Uh, that we are welcome to use one of the cottages um, for as long as we need. So it's just this immense. Um, graciousness and um, empathy from their side and it um, and it was just absolutely such a beautiful example of synchronicity mm, mm. something that we could not have thought out even though we had in our minds that we might be looking at spaces and talking mm. to people and this was something coming from from yeah we haven't started that process no not at all and and offering this to us it was just so um uh, heartwarming and yeah. yeah yeah and 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 it's also this sense of it's a bigger process that is playing and out it's not just us it's not just about us but it's yeah. also not just us that is involved in 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 what this is yeah or whatever you want to call it what this work is if you want yeah. to call it that what yeah. this uh, living a certain type of life is 
Yeah, and how how different people play important roles in that because this isn't something that we can do on our own. No, but how how they also people offering to help to get the facilities yes, ready. Yes, yes, no, but like you say, in the Afrikaans one, it's not like we sit back and say, well. If we wait long enough, there will be a whole team coming to, to pack up uh, the house and the studio and the workshop for us. It's not that. It's it's not deciding what the synchronicities will be. No. It's doing what you have to do. Yeah. Um, and feeling into that mm -hmm. and, and, and being where you are and aware of what's happening inside of you. Sometimes a synchronicity can even address something that you didn't think about, yes. but which is so important and you realize it afterwards. Yeah, and it's an it's a, a affirmation as well, mm. isn't it? Uh, that this, that, that this is uh, maybe a good idea that we had the previous evening. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yes, um, and um, we would like to hear from you if you've had experiences like this. Um, and also just to be open, to be aware that we truly are not alone and that all will be well. Mm. And that this journey, we say this is conversations on the journey, this journey is truly an adventurous one. Mm. Um, and not a lonely one. Not a lonely one. No. <laughs> we'll talk again next week. Uh, thank you for the feedback and your messages. We always appreciate that. And the lovely well wishes. We so appreciate those. Yeah. Keep well, everyone. Bye bye.